Look at this road sign. It tells road users the gradient of the road ahead. 25% is the same as one quarter. So we say this gradient is one in four. This means you go up one unit vertically for every four units horizontally. Let's look at this on a diagram. This car travels one unit up for every four units along. The gradient is the change in height divided by the horizontal distance travelled. Some people call this rise over run. Here, the gradient is the change in height, which is 1, divided by the horizontal distance, which is 4. That's 1 divided by 4, or 1 quarter. We often need to find the gradient of a straight line on a graph. The gradient tells us the slope of the line. The larger the gradient, the steeper the slope. When we work with gradients on graphs, instead of saying the change in height divided by the horizontal distance travelled, we usually say the change in y divided by the change in x. The gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x. For this graph, the change in y is 2, and the change in x is 1. So the gradient is 2 divided by 1, which is 2. Another way to think of this is that the graph goes up 2 units for every 1 unit across. So the gradient is 2. But what if the graph slopes in the opposite direction? We still work out the change in y divided by the change in x. But this time, the answer is minus 2. The negative symbol shows us the line is sloping the opposite way. Another way to think of this is that the graph goes down 2 units for every 1 unit across. So the gradient is minus 2. The key thing to remember is that the gradient tells us the slope of a line. You work out the gradient by calculating the change in y divided by the change in x.